Do you know that you can save up to 50% off your electricity bills uh, just by choosing the correct settings in your air conditioner and also ensuring that it stay cool? What's wrong for this tech? Uh? They're so simple, uh, yet no one knows of yeah. So, so, also, uh, most of us will use only three buttons on our air conditioner remote control. The on-off button and the up and down buttons to control the temperature. Some of us will also use the timer function, but that's about it. Uh. We usually don't bother with the other buttons. In fact, uh, because of this, most remote controls have just these buttons, while the other buttons uh, are hidden behind a cover on the remote. Here's the thing, you need to know about the other buttons, and while the buttons look confusing, uh, they are not. Uh. For a start, uh, there's a fan button which is quite simple. If you want the air conditioner uh, to blow air like a fan, uh, then you can just adjust that accordingly. Uh. Some air conditioners uh, will have a button called eye cool or eye heating whereby your air conditioner will automatically adjust the setting, but not many air conditioners have that. Nevertheless, the fan button works in conjunction with the mode button, which is the one that is so confusing is the reason why these buttons are being given the cold shoulder. So what's the mode button? It's to switch the air conditioner to different modes, cause no matter what, it's always on a certain mode. If your air conditioner isn't cold, even if you set it to the lowest temperature, it might be that you're on the wrong mode. To change the mode, you simply have to press the mode button and then you will switch accordingly. You can know what mode it is uh, based on the icon on the remote. Usually, there are just a few modes. The auto mode, the cool mode, the dry mode, and the fan mode. For the auto mode, uh, you are letting the air conditioner decide which mode to use, depending on the room itself. Most of the times, you will work just fine, but you won't have control over what mode is on. Uh. It's kind of like driving an auto car uh, compared to a manual car. For the cool mode, the air conditioner will do its best to run at the temperature you have set. Without going into the inner workings, uh, you just need to know that in order to keep the room at a certain temperature, it needs strong fans and a compressor, leading to higher bills. While you use more electricity, it keeps the room cooler since it die die and follow the temperature sui sui to what you set. For the dry mode, it removes humid air from the room instead of blowing cold air in. Think of it this way, uh, it's sucking out the hot humid air in the room to lower the temperature instead of blowing cold air into the room. And because it doesn't require much energy to remove hot air, uh, this is usually friendly to a wallet. Uh. Now, finally, the fan mode uh, does what a fan does, uh, it just blow air. Yeah, you'll hear very very strong gushes of wind uh, coming out of the unit, but all you get uh, is really just wind, uh, kind of like uh, your ex-boyfriend uh, who promised you the moon and the BMW uh, but only give you a moon kit and bus MRT walk. Sorry, uh, we love money, so I need to insert an ad here. Uh. If not, uh, I know food, uh, and then we'll lose my battery. For this video, we don't have a sponsor. Uh, so if anyone wants to buy an app slot like this, uh, email us. Uh, link in profile. We'll guarantee views one way. Also, uh, download our app because uh, we know sponsor for this video, uh, so we sponsor ourselves. Uh. <laughs> but this month, no pay. Uh. Well, it saves electricity uh, because it's just a fan, uh, especially uh, if the compressor is turned off and not strong enough. Uh, you're actually better off uh, with just a ceiling fan instead. Uh. This one depends on the aircon, uh, but just know that usually uh, a fan means that the temperature isn't a priority, the moving air is. And also, uh, it gives you an illusion uh, that the room is cold. Ay, but wait, wait, wait. Why is there a need for a fan button when there's a fan mode for this? Eh? The thing is, the fan is as stupid as you want. Eh? Even if you turn on the fan mode, uh, you won't know whether it has cooled you down. Therefore, uh, you need to manually decide how strong you want the fan to be, kind of like adjusting the speed of your ceiling fan with the fan button. Uh. So as mentioned, uh, this is usually for people uh, who merely want to use the fan mode, and if you are using other modes, uh, the fan button uh, will usually work automatically. Uh. So which mode should you use? Eh? Obviously, uh, dry mode will be the best since it uses less electricity and does the job. However, uh, when it's too hot, or usually uh, when there's a window in the room, uh, the dry mode might not have enough time to remove all the hot air uh, that's coming in, especially when it's super hot outside. That's where you need to use the auto mode. Uh. But if it still doesn't cool the room down, uh, then you switch to the cool mode. Uh. Now, here's a simple hack for a hot country like Singapore. To save more money, uh, it's best to use a dry mode at night since it won't be hot outside and auto mode during the day. As for the fan, uh, you can keep it down uh, since it serves no function uh, unless you're sweating like crazy. Uh. If you do have learned something, uh, consider subscribing. Uh. And also watch this video uh, to be slightly smarter.